Hi there, my name is Ed Cawthorn and I'm a, a computer science instructor at Manchester Community College and we're going to talk about using methods in Java a little bit today. Uh, in Java programming, first a little background. In Java programming one of the things we strive for is modularity. The idea behind modularity is you take a chunk of code, you develop that chunk of code and you run it and you test it and you can stick it out there in a library somewhere and then everybody will be able to use it. One of the principles of modularity is dependability. The object that you've created runs the same on your machine as it will run on somebody else's machine so that when they go to use it they can use the same code that you you developed a long time ago. It may be a week ago, it may be a month ago, maybe years ago. An example is the import java.utility. That is an object that exists out in the Java library that when you, when you import it, it grabs the whole object, it brings it in, and it inserts it in your code. And that's how you use it. Using an object allows a programmer to reuse code. Therefore, development costs are, are way, way down. You don't have to sit there and have all the headaches of testing and designing and all this other stuff. Not everything is new all the time. Sometimes it's okay to drive an old car. The concept of modularity is really based on the same principle as the Egyptians when building a pyramid. Do one thing at a time, make sure that it is stable and in place, and then move on to the next block. A method can be described as a segment of code that has three attributes. One, it's focused. Two, it's, it's reusable. Three, it expedites the development process by minimizing errors. This is an example of a method. This is the public world, or public class Hello World. Everybody's seen the Hello World class. In one in the main method of the hello world class it's dumping out the world uh, the the statement hello world in the public void hello met in the in the method hello eddie it's dumping out the words hello eddie so it's a little bit different but it and it's a simplistic view of what a method is but basically it describes how a method is is put together you can have as many methods in a class as you want to i'm not sure that's a good idea but you can how do you define a method? Defining a method is relatively e easy. It's a method header, an open and close scope delimiter. Bingo, bango, and beach. Just like you define a class, except it's a method and not a class. They're totally different things. This, this is an explanation of the method header. It explains that the method header is made up of a modifier, a return value type, a method name, and a list of parameters. This explains what everything is. This explains how it's set up. It's very, very simple. There are two flavors of methods in the world. The first flavor of method is a procedural method. The second flavor of method is, 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 is a function method. With the first flavor, the procedural method, there is no requirement that you return a value to the calling, to the calling method. This is a good example of a procedural method. It doesn't do anything except print the outbound statement. You call it, you invoke it, Monday morning breakdown, you pass it into the outbound uh, variable, and then you print it out as an outbound statement. That's it. By outbound, I mean key console, keyboard, wherever you want to go. The second flavor is known as a function. Functions are required to return a value to the calling method. Functions work very much like an algebraic statement. You've got a target, and this is your call. This is your invoker. Add dog cat to target. This will assign a value to target, whatever value happens to be calculated in the method dog cat. It's, it's fairly simple. It's, it's straightforward. But again, sometimes simplicity has its value when you're trying to learn something. Methods should be very focused. They should, they should be code that will be reused numerous times and add value to your project. You're not going to write code into a method that's only going to be used once. 
it's it's just not a good idea. You put it in the main, use it the once, and that's it. But if you've got a bunch of code that's going to be reused over and over and over again, you don't want your main to grow disproportionately large because you haven't built methods. You put that code in a method, you call it, you reuse it, and then you call, come back to it. You invoke a method within its home class just by calling its name. For, from a previous screen, you see that the method print out invoked used the name and then passed it a value. There's really nothing difficult about methods. You invoke a function in much the same way, except you invoke it using a, an assignment uh, statement. Methods increase productivity because you test them once, you make sure they're right, and you never have to worry about them again. That's the beauty of having a set of code that's been tested and run. You're sure of it. It will increase your productivity. If you go out and read this Java tutorial that's here, and you try to implement some of these methods, you will learn an awful lot about methods just by headbanging. I think that's a worthwhile endeavor. And that's my, that's my show on methods. So we're going to end it now. Have a good evening.